First tonight, the accusations continue to fly from both sides in the Deshaun Watson sexual harassment and assault civil lawsuits. Tonight, a group of women are coming to the Texans players defense. They say the massage sessions they had with Watson were entirely professional. Matt Doherty has their statements and looked into whether this will actually help Watson's case. Matt. The attorney we spoke with tonight says the statements from the women most likely won't be admissible in the courtroom, but in the court of public opinion, they matter. In response to the many women who claim they were sexually harassed and assaulted during massage therapy sessions with Deshaun Watson, his attorney today released this. Statements from massage therapists who claim the Texans quarterback was a model client. LMT Maya Roberts writes, quote, some of the accusations are so ludicrous. I just can't see him doing any of these things. He was never inappropriate with me. I never felt threatened in any way. Licensed physical therapist Sarah Featheroff writes this, quote, my experience was nothing like the plaintiffs are describing. I do not believe they are being truthful. A person's past conduct good or bad, is not admissible in a case. South Texas College of Law Professor Kenneth Williams says statements like these will be of no use in a civil trial. The issue is how did he react with these women, not how he has reacted in the past. Yesterday, plaintiff's attorney Tony Busby made an Instagram post. He writes that he and his clients will provide evidence to an agency outside of the Houston Police Department. Busby claims defense attorney Rusty Harden's son works for HPD. That wouldn't explain why uh, when these incidents occurred, for instance, why um, the accusers did not go to HPD on their own before, you know, Mr. Harden was even involved or Mr. Busby was involved in the case. So I think that's the bigger question in the case. Professor Williams says that if this becomes a criminal case, Deshaun Watson will likely not cooperate with discovery. He says that during a deposition, a defendant who is also facing criminal charges wouldn't be compelled to answer questions and could exercise his Fifth Amendment rights. From Houston, I'm Matt Doherty, KHOU 11 News.